Hello everyone, and welcome back to Destiny. In the last couple of episodes, we found and destroyed a Vex Gate Lord. Then we took its head and presented it to the Awoken Queen in the Reef. Then we ventured back to Venus and uncovered an old Golden Age archive and were attacked by the House of Winter. Then we found the House of Winter's Kel, Draxus, and we put an end to his reign. We also met some new allies within the Vestian outpost and we have been tasked to go to Mars and find the gate to the Black Garden. So without further ado, let's go find this gate. These coordinates put the gate to the Black Garden near the lost city of Freehold. It's been buried in the sand since the collapse. Now, the Cabal occupy the area, and most of Mars. No one gets through their exclusion zone. to the Black Garden is miles from here. And the Cabal got a lock on orbital communication. If you want your Sparrow, you're going to have to break into one of their bunkers and disable the system. Cabal. Hmm. That's an enemy that we haven't faced yet. I wonder what they're like. Here's what I have on the Cabal. 800 pounds and highly militarized. They blow up planets and moons just for getting in their way. Just so you know what we're dealing with. Right on cue, Ghost. Thank you. <laughs> they blow up planets and moons for just getting in their way. I would love to see that actually happen. They're inside. My advice? We avoid engagement until we understand them better. Hmm. Easier than I thought. Scanning for something linked to their orbital grids. I hear them. Sounds like they're either hitting stuff or they are really just that heavy when they walk. You think? You think? That's a massive ship. Guess that was their failsafe. What makes you say that, ghost? Okay, thankfully that ship's leaving. And of course there's another one. These Cabal have a lot of health. Looks like we need to level up some more. Or we could just bring out our massive machine gun. Boom. 
Oh, nice. Sparrow is accessible. Let's head toward the gate. Let's do it. Let's finally find this gate. The Cabal appeared to be at war with the Vex here. Maybe they know something about the gate. There's a few outposts nearby. Let's check them out. You want to get in the middle of this, that's your call. I hear Vex and Cabal. And they're at war. I'm, I'm not getting in the middle of that right now. We're just trying to find the gate. An outpost should be up ahead. I can dig into their systems and see what I can find about the gate. Look for something I can access. Sorry, I'm not talking much. Just the music in this mission is perfect. And I've always really, really loved this mission. The way it's structured, the music, the enemies, the reveal of the enemies. It feels focused. It feels like an actual mission. Um, instead of like a, a filler mission, I suppose you could say. In my opinion, it's just perfect. <laughs> it also helps that it's on Mars, which is one of my favorite planets in real life. If not my favorite planet. Alright, find out who's in charge and take their key. Uh oh, ship. Please don't shoot at me. Ooh. <laughs> Multitask, pick up the engram and then run. Oh, that's a lot of Scions. Wait, this is the first time meeting the Scions. Who's this? Bracus the Org. Well, looking at my super bar, I know what's coming his way. Goodbye. There's another cabal post right near the gate. Let's hope this key works. If it doesn't, I will be sad. We just done all of that for a key to not work. That would be very, very sad. And there we go. There is this base clear, at least for now. That is. <laughs> Look at the carnage. You see this and you think, okay, yeah, there's definitely been a guardian here. <laughs> that is insane. I've never really taken the time to just look back at what I've just done. It's kind of horrifying. Imagine you're a cabal detachment sent here because this base has lost contact. Then you see this. How horrifying would that be? I'd love to play a Destiny horror game. I'm guessing that's the gate. Let's 
see what they know about the gate. Impressive. A cabal managed to penetrate the Vex cognition mesh. There's a lot here. I'm not sure they even understand what the gate is. But if we're going to wait the Gate Lord's eye and get into the Black Garden, it looks like we're going to have to go through the Cabal. Well, nothing has stopped us so far. I'm sure we'll be fine. Plus, I'd love to learn more about these Cabal. They're pretty cool. And we get a scout rifle. We've been getting a lot of these things. Ah, back at the tower. I haven't been here very much recently. It's just been going from one mission to another. I think there's my ship. That's so cool. But yeah, it's just been one mission after another and uh, we ended up going to the Vestian outpost and that's where we've been sending our engrams and meeting new people. But speaking of engrams... Ooh. I think because we're rank 1 we're just going to get some strange coins and motes of light. Uh, however, let's have a little preview. Huh. So we can get engrams, blue or legendary. Uh, we can also get a couple of emblems and some shaders. I did not, I do not remember getting shaders from these things. We'll need to keep an eye out because um, you can't say no to shaders. Anyway, yep, just four strange coins, four motes of light. And some glimmer. But that takes us to five strange coins. Hopefully, uh, one weekend we'll go see Zer and actually be able to afford something. Until the next time. But, we've reached a bit of a dead end and we're not sure where to find this Eye of a Gate Lord. So, we'll see if Ikora Ray knows anything. You were wise to contact me. The Hidden have brought an answer to light. To align the eye with the gate, you'll need the energies of a Vex Spire on Mars. Most are deep underground, but one is out in plain sight. In the middle of a Cabal war camp. Well, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but you are giving us some new armor, which... This one is higher, so I may as well take this one. This helps. Ooh, there is also some armor pieces here. Oh, level 18. Well, never mind then. Uh, we're also not too far away from ranking up the Vanguard, but that'll take a little bit of time. We expect great things of you. Before we go find this Vex Spire in the middle of the Cabal War Camp, we're going to explore Mars a little bit and help some allies find some answers and also gain a better understanding of Mars and the city of Freehold. And we're also going to get some new loot whilst doing so. So, enough stalling, let's get straight to it. Seems like the Cryptarchs are really curious about this region of Mars. For years, the Cryptarchs have been waiting to break through the exclusion zone and find what's left in that buried city. They say Freehold birthed technological wonders. We cannot let the Cabal destroy it. A 
Cabal could have leveled that entire city. If they haven't brought it down yet, they must have found something valuable. We should track them. See what they're after. That is true. It is said that the Cabal destroy entire planets and moons just for getting in their way, so... Reiterating what Ghost said, they must have found something valuable if the city is still there. I'll scan for Cabal transmissions. I've got something. Inside Building 5. Building 5. Clovis Bray. I hope this Clovis Bray Corporation didn't do anything bad. Oh, there's another guardian here. Wait a minute. Oh, I hear a resource node, but I think it's outside. I was gonna pick that up, but never mind. There's an active feed back to their base here. Let me listen. Hello. <laughs> Just two guardians on their own paths interacting. Looks like the Cabal have a recon team stationed at the top of the other skyscraper. They must have found something interesting. Let's check it out. So, in here. Yep, in there. Oh, there's a resource node. Let's pick it up. There we are. Our first piece of relic iron. Clovis Bray, a center for scientific advancement, interplanetary defense, AI development, research on the Traveler. This place could be a gold mine. So long as the Cabal don't get that information. Because research on the Traveler? They could find something to, I don't know, harness the light from it? Find the way to capture it or something? If that happens, that would be very bad for all of us. Ooh. Big room. Uh-oh, we got Vex. Cabal and Vex. I sometimes forget that uh, th my throwing arm in D1 is not as good as D2. <laughs> but at least we're getting some good engrams, we're getting some blues and stuff. big city outside. I really hope we get to explore actually like more of the city in future. I don't know. It's something I'd really really like to see. I feel like it would remind me of uh, the game Spec Ops The Line. It's a bit of a gruesome game in parts. I would say if you're a little bit younger, um, don't look it up yet. <laughs> Wait until you're a little bit older, because um, you might get a little bit scarred. But other than that, the environments are great. Oh, 
I've always loved the aesthetics of these buildings. I don't know, just Destiny 1's art style is really, really cool. Yep, there they are. I thought I heard something and then I saw red on the radar. That's the first death, the, the first proper death. We don't count the strike at the beginning of the series. <laughs> but that's the first death. And of course it had to come from a Cabal Colossus. I hate Colossuses. Colossi? I, whatever the plural of Colossus is. But at least they're not as bad as D2 Colossus. I hate those missiles. And I'm just thankful that we don't have any slowing missiles in D1. Oh well. At least I get to Nova Bomb them. Oh, and we get to level 18. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Phalanx, you stay away. I'm not defeating that Colossus just to get phalanxed. Okay, before we move forward, do we have... We do, we have a shotgun. I'm gonna put this on for now. We have some ammo, that's good. Because this is going to be close quarters. And it's also going to be Cabal. We're going to need high damage on demand. Like this. Marcus Thaorum. Ooh, dear. Well, there's the Brachus gone. Let's clear out the rest of these enemies. Ah, screw it. Why not? this machine. It's still active. Let me analyze it. There you go, ghost. This AI once connected to the war mind of Mars. Is that? Rasputin's controlling it. I can't get in and neither could the Cabal. He's everywhere now. Huh. So Rasputin once connected to the war mind of Mars, eh? Interesting. Ooh, and we get a hand cannon with four in the magazine. We were so close to greatness. <laughs> and we also get a chess piece. It's the same defense, so if it looks cool, we can put it on. If not, doesn't matter too much. 
The Vex are taking control of the surface to protect the Black Garden. Mars could soon be worse than Venus. We've got to find out where they're coming from. We need to track down a conflux like we saw on Venus. There's reports of one not too far from here. Let's go find it. Yeah, we really do not want Mars looking like a Venus. And if the stories and legends about Mercury are to be believed, that'd be even worse. Apparently Mercury suffered a worse fate than Venus. Once we find out where the Vex are coming from, cut them off, or it's only a matter of time before Mars becomes one of their machines. And that would be bad for all of us. Especially because Mars is my favorite planet. There's the conflux. With Vex incoming. Surge coming from below the buried city. We better check it out. From below the buried city? I mean, it is buried. But are you meaning below the sand or below the actual city itself? Because if it's below the city itself, then that's a little bit worrisome. But if it's below the sand, then. Uh, it's not as big of a deal, but still, we need to find this before more Vex invade Mars. Here we are. Off-world transit, M-line, also known as Mars line. So I'm guessing this is some kind of um, train station or just a transit station. from these guys. They have torch cannons. Ouch. It's very dark in here. Looks like it's going to be dark in here for a while. Just aim for any red eye you see. A red eye in the dark. Sounds kind of horrifying. Wait, hang on. Ah, uh, there's one. See, this would be amazing for a horror game. Just imagine... You're like, I don't know, during the collapse or... Post-collapse, you're in this old subway and the lights are off and you just see these red dots. Or even like three red eye uh, three green eyes for the hive. And you just hear screaming. That'd be amazing. Obviously it would work better if you were some human. Or just basically lightless, and there's no way to revive yourself. 
Otherwise, if it was just a guardian, it would be exactly what happened just in there. <laughs> Not much suspense. Yeah, this thing is very uncontrollable. But there's some heavy ammo, so I thought I'd use some. Hello! Oh, that's got a lot of health. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my Nova Bomb now. Okay, I'll do it now. And it didn't kill him! There we go. Goodbye. Oh, that was a little bit intense. Haha. <laughs> and here's this thing. Uh, I don't know how many people remember, but uh, one of the Bungie devs, one of the lead Bungie devs, um, ended up saying, or basically hinting that there could be some kind of secret or code with these uh, messages. Uh, specifically in the last exit crucible map, but um, I don't think anyone found anything. More Vex. Them down. Wait, they do? I hear it. Oh, yep, they do. So the Vex have transfer gates within a transit station. I think it fits pretty well. I'll give the Vex credit for that. But it doesn't make it okay. Get your gates out of here. Oh no, I see one. And two. And three. Nice. A conflux is still active. Let me check it out. This isn't an invasion. The Vex are returning home. Something is calling them back to the Black Garden. Huh. Something is calling them back? Ooh, level 19. Nice. We are nearly at level 20. 
So that means, next episode, we will hit level 20. I think that's very fitting for the end of the series. Well, the end of the D1 story, sorry. Not the end of the series. But something is calling the Vex back to the Black Garden. How interesting. And we get a rocket launcher and some boots that we need to be level 20 for. Thanks, Bungie. Thank you very, very much. <sighs> but, unfortunately, that does it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like, as it lets me know that you're still enjoying this series and you wish to see more. Subscribe to see other kinds of content on my channel, and it also lets me know that you enjoy what I do. And it notifies me that you enjoy the other kinds of content that I make on the channel. And speaking of notifications, make sure to hit the bell icon to stay up to date when I post new content. And comment down below if you have any memories or any video recommendations that you would like to see on the channel. And, as always, stay positive, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next one, Guardians. Take care.